Uh, every day is we eat. And I have someone now who's going to be talking about low carbon eating. Um, I have Mark Peters here. He and his wife Elizabeth are longtime activists for both the environment and for animals. And we're highly instrumental in moving Tesla Motors, uh, manufacturer of the all electric um, model. Of that you guys are the tip of the spear making a difference for the world. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. You are awesome, all of you. I talk, my talk is two parts, both short, so you can still feel your fingers and toes at the end of this. First part is an example of us as a family being nearly no carbon, and then part two is the huge aspect that was already alluded to about what we eat and how the impact is. I can't exist. If you listen to the politicians, if we go to a low carbon future, all heck's going to break loose. The sun won't come up in the east anymore. People are going to go unemployed everywhere. It's undoable. we got to stop this talk about climate change because it's all a bunch of hogwash. Frankly, they're the nutcases that think the world is flat. Let me cut to the chase. We have, as of 2013, a 7.5 kilowatt hour system on our roof that generates so much electricity that I have my grab bag of show and tell here. I have last month's bill. This is with two electric cars in the garage charging at a above average house in size. Molly, would you read that number for us, please? No, I found my glasses off. <laughs> <laughs> What's that number at the bottom of the bill? $28.78. 20, under a dollar a day with two electric cars. Now, everyone always asks the question, well, how much did it cost to put the system in? Well, I'll tell you, it cost about $8,000 in one upfront payment to Solar City. But here's the kicker. The payback was about a year and a half. So for the next 18 and a half years, guess what? It's money in our pocket, less carbon, almost no carbon in the air, and no carbon in the oceans. And they said it couldn't be done. The kicker is the price of the panels is actually continuing to go down. So 2015 and 2016 will be even less potentially. Keep that in mind. Ask us for details later. Shifting gears. Part two. Just two miles from here, there's a restaurant called Spiral Diner, one of two locations. You can, you've both heard about it. You can get a carbon-free meal almost there. Why? Because prop number two. Ah, too cold to feel it. This. This is a weapon of mass destruction. My parents, my parents anyway, lied to me. Not out of malice, simply out of ignorance. What you put on your fork is tremendously important to what it does to the planet. I have a couple of quotes from some really important people. Not that I know Bill Gates, but Bill Gates doesn't know me either. But he recently put out a paper on, uh, on the web on nationalvote.com and he wrote, It's important too in light of the environmental impacts of large-scale meat and dairy production with livestock estimated to produce nearly 51% of the world's greenhouse gases. Now I'm quoting Bill Gates on this because he's quoting a study that he has enough resources to thoroughly vet. And obviously he wouldn't be making that stuff up. Another thing in the grab bag here real quick. If those of you that have Netflix or just go to the web, Cowspiracy.com came out about a year ago, incredibly powerful, and talks to the organizations, many organizations that really should be on top of this because the single greatest thing we can do individually three times a day is putting low-carbon foods, i.e. plants and vegetables, on our forks. Cowspiracy talks about why it is that so few organizations are talking about this, and it's really, really, really powerful. And I'm getting the uh, feeling we're getting close on time, so I'll cut to the chase and get to the last part real quick. This was mentioned earlier about battles. Tolstoy wrote, if we believe absurdities, we shall commit atrocities to both our planet and ourselves and other humans and other animals. Let's not do that. Your awareness is the very first step in the solution. And then part two to that is, once we're informed, and most of us are here, let's step up. If I walk through the street like this, I'm just a regular person on the street. If I'm walking down the street, or in my office, or at school, or anyplace else, and I'm wearing a button that says 350.org, or Sierra Club, or ask me about why I'm vegan, 
Now I'm an activist. Without opening my mouth, without waving a pamphlet in someone's face, I am open and approachable. I want all of you to please watch the Cowspiracy. Go to the website, Cowspiracy.org, I believe. Get buttons for all the organizations that you're part of and make yourself not someone walking down the street, but an activist. I see a lot of buttons. Buttons make you approachable. Wear them. Talk to your friends, neighbors, and family. And again, all of you are changing the world. Thank you so much for coming out here. Freeze to death with me too. Yeah.